Today we're going to feature the UptoStream Pro um, Bluetooth Wi-Fi uh, receiver, audio receiver board. This one here is a very good quality, will work both over your Wi-Fi network and of course through Bluetooth and it has a USB input on it. We've got two boards to look at. I'm going to look at the first one today. This is the UptoStream Pro. I received the package. Actually this package came in a while back. I've been um, delayed in getting it because um, I usually use a P.O. box to have stuff sent to me and uh, the, the company that shipped me this, they shipped it by DHL, my favorite company in the world, because DHL put like a $22 broker charge on samples so they won't deliver to my P.O. box. So I had to go to the airport and pay to receive this and I had to wait for the supplier to actually send the money to have it paid because I wasn't going to pay for it. This is a new product. I haven't even opened it yet. So let's see what's in the box. In the box, got a remote control. I got a power supply with a power cord. And this is a uh, 24 volt 4 amp output. And here are the two little boards. So it's an up to stream pro. So this is the one we're going to look at in this video. The other one is the up to stream amp and it basically has an amplifier built in. We're going to do a separate video for that one. So let's look at the up to stream pro. So the up to stream pro is a Wi-Fi audio receiver, has a Bluetooth audio receiver, a DLNA audio receiver, AirPlay audio receiver and multi-room audio receiver and the app is compatible with Android and uh, Apple products. And here are the specifications. So stream music vi wirelessly via network from all kinds of sources and without distance limitation and in high quality. Up to Stream Pro is a perfect hardware for music lovers to build and upgrade a traditional stereo audio system into a modern hi-fi smart wireless audio system. Streams via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth 5.0 has AirPlay, DLNA, Spotify Connect supported, 24-bit, 192kHz decoding, Slack Wave Ape supported, multi-room, multi-zone with multiple units, and of course a free Android and iOS app, and it'll work with uh, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, Snapster, iHeartRadio available, stream from USB as well, and uh, you can use an external DAC, it looks like. It has audio inputs for 3.5mm aux uh, and total hallmark distortion 0.03%. Sample rate 24 bit, 120 new, 192 kilohertz. And the app name you're looking for is 4Stream. Let's start out with, uh, with this one here. We'll, we'll check this one out first and uh, see how these work. The big difference between a board like this and a lot of the other Bluetooth boards that are on the market is the range. Bluetooth has a range of about 10 meters, and even at that, it's going to get choppy. Bluetooth was designed originally to hook up your headphones to your phone and hook up uh, earpiece, like for making phone calls or to connect to your in-car system. It's a short-range system. This board does support Bluetooth, but it also supports a full 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi system. And with a Wi-Fi system, of course, anywhere that you've got Wi-Fi in your house, you'll be able to walk around with your phone and stream through this little receiver board. So that's what it really makes us stand out from Bluetooth only boards. Okay, the up to stream pro board. This is a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi receiver. It runs on five volts. Here's the antennas for to connect to your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth system and this one provides a line level output it has a line input and a line output on here it'll support USB and of course you can plug it into your LAN hardwired and it supplies line out to go to your existing amplifier your existing stereo system it'll allow you to put a stream audio through your existing system so let's uh, get this one connected and get it operational the app it requires is one called Forstream, so we're going to download Forstream from the Play Store in this case. So let me get that installed, and then we're going to set this unit up. So I fired up the app, and I'm going to add a device. So basically, I'm going to look for one called Sound System XXXX, which will be a number. 
go to my Wi-Fi settings. This is to pair it to my network. So I'm going to go down to my my Wi-Fi connection here. I'm just waiting for it to initialize. Engine setup mode. Follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup. Okay, so the instructions in the app are to look for the sound system. So there it is, up to stream F A whatever number because everyone's going to be different. So going to connect. You are now connected to your speaker. Follow okay. the instructions in the app to finish the setup. Okay, I'm going to go back to the app. And it says I'm connected. It's found one device. Right? One device has been found. So I'm going to add the device. And it's now going to ask me to connect to my network. So I'm going to put my select my 2.4 gigahertz network and put in the password of course all those sirens you hear in the background we're having a bit of a windstorm here today and I just found out that a big tree just uh, came down about a block or Wait two blocks from my house and it's blocking the road so the fire department's heading down there to take care of this tree that's lying across the road connected to your Wi-Fi network there we go I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network that was simple it says current Wi-Fi strength of the device is 100 percent and then I tell it where what room this is in because you can have multiple rooms so we'll call this one the garage I hear a bunch of sirens And uh, that's it. It says I got it. I click on here. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm into the app now. Uh, I'm just going to tap Garage, and um, I'll pick something here to play. I wonder if I can do something from my music. If I go into the phone here, there we go. I had a bit of a technical problem there. My uh, adapter plug wasn't plugged in all the way. I was wondering why I was only getting one channel, but I give it a little bit of a more, a little more of a, a shove to get the plug all the way in. It appears it was sticking a bit. Let's try it now again. I can't play this for. Actually, I don't think I have any music bakery stuff on this phone, so I would be careful what I play. Very good. Yeah, I got to be careful to say what I, how long I play stuff on here, um, just because uh, it's uh, not. Uh, I don't have royalty-free content on this phone. But what it is streaming, it is not streaming by Bluetooth. This is actually through my Wi-Fi network. The uh, color of it will do Bluetooth, right? I could pair this Bluetooth, but I paired it by Wi-Fi. Which the advantage, of course, to that is that uh, unlike Bluetooth, Bluetooth, when you get away from the phone, like when you move away 20 feet from the receiver, it's going to cut out. Whereas when you're on Wi-Fi, as long as your phone is connected to your network throughout your house, anywhere you go, it's going to make a good connection. So this is superior to Bluetooth streaming. It does do Bluetooth as well. Um, you can pair it over Bluetooth. It says, you see... Op, here are the options. One, you can pair it via Wi-Fi, which is what I did. Or you can just connect your LAN in here, plug this into your router, and this all of a sudden becomes your audio receiver. That's probably what I'm going to use this for because, you see, this little board is going to go into my stereo system. It's going to go into my media room, and it's going to be plugged into the auxiliary input to my surround receiver that feeds to my, my sound system. And um, I've already got a Bluetooth receiver in my other my other stereo that I built into my uh, my digital HD radio receiver, and it has a Bluetooth receiver in it. So I'm going to use this one on my other system, and just connect it into the auxiliary input, and then I can stream from my phone through my big speakers without having to deal with it over Bluetooth.
and in my case I'm going to be doing it through the RJ45 Cat5 input directly but the light here as it follows the 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 light indicates what mode it's in so white is Wi-Fi blue is Bluetooth red is uh, USB and green is line input because you can take a line input to this as well so I should be able to plug a USB stick into here and play music off of a USB stick let's try that I go down to the app now and I tap USB device it should uh, allow me to play from the USB device which I just did and as you can see the light is now gone to red now I paired this to one of my networks in the house I want to try and I'm just gonna stop it from playing here so let me just get out of that I'm going to reset the network because I want to pair it to a different Wi-Fi network so to reset it there's a switch that's in behind the uh, line input plug Entering setup mode. follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup so now I'm just gonna wait for it to show up and there it is up to stream you are now connected to your speaker follow the instructions in the app to finish the setup so I'm going to go back to the app again. So we'll go back to the app. And it's going to, uh, I'm going to add the device. And it's going to ask me to choose the 2.4 gigahertz network that I'm going to use. So I'm going to now select my main network. And put in my password. Waiting for Wi-Fi connection. Okay, let's see if I got my... To your ah, got okay, back to my... And I call this the garage. I guess I can rename it if I want, but... So if I go in here, rename. There, so if I want to call it... If I want to end up calling this, say, Family Room. I can change the name of it to Family Room. Tap Finish. Okay, when I tap on here, um, scroll down if I want to play the music on my phone. Just tap my music. Pick the music I want, and it'll play. If I want to go back to play something that's on USB. Now, one thing I did not try was a 128 gig USB stick. I only tried it with a smaller one. But, as you'll see, it not only will stream from that, but it'll also stream from my computer in the house it'll stream from my server I'll show you that in a minute we'll put a big USB stick in there and see if it will support that momentarily scroll down to USB devices there we go have I back up here So a couple of other features that it has, we look at the specifications here. It has both an analog output and a digital output, right? And here's our support, our formats that it supports. It has a digital output header, which is number two, which is this one here, it comes with this cable as well. So if you're going to utilize this and plug it into another external DAC, 
it has the pinout listed to connect it to an external DAC if that's what you're after. And this shows you where everything is. Bluetooth antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, and audio in. A reset button is in behind here to reset. Come on, camera focus. Reset button to reset the Wi-Fi is a little switch that's in behind here. You just put a probe or a piece of wire in there to press that switch and hold it until it says resetting. And uh, audio out. If you're going to use analog audio outputs, that's what I'm going to be using. Just a standard 1 amp USB power supply is all that's needed to power this one up. But anyway, that's that's a quick look at the up to stream Pro USB Wi-Fi receiver. It's tiny. It's only 80 by 50 millimeters. As you can see, by comparison to my Samsung S9, this is not the S9 Pro or the S9 Plus. This is just the regular S9. You can see how small this board is. I think anybody who's looking for a high quality Bluetooth and Wi-Fi receiver would probably be in their favor to look this one up. I'll put the link to this board in the description. But uh, so far I'm pretty impressed. I've only been running it here. It took me literally you know, five minutes to get this thing up and running. And the sound quality off this is excellent. And what I really like about this is the fact that it can go over your network. Whether you're going to do it over Wi-Fi or whether you're going to do it over your LAN. Um, the fact that it's not going to rely on Bluetooth and the pitfalls of Bluetooth, which of course is the range. That's the big problem with Bluetooth is the, the range between the phone and the receiver. With this, anywhere when you're on your home network, anywhere you go, you'll be able to stream over one of these. Of course, we're not just limited to streaming from our phone or streaming from or playing from a USB stick. Those are two features that'll do. But when you bring up your phone, when you go into your My Music category, I can go into my Home Music Share and I can pick my desktop PC, for example, or even my laptop, but I'll pick my desktop PC. I'll go into my Music and uh, it'll bring up all the music that's on my desktop PC. So now I can stream using my phone, I can stream through here. So if I pick an artist, we'll just pick something here. I obviously can't play it for very long. Ah, here, we'll find something here. wasn't the best sound quality. That sounds like it was a terrible sound quality off that one. Let's try to find something else. Ah, this one sounds a little better. <clears throat> yeah, some of the some of the music I've got on my uh, desktop is very good quality and other stuff is uh, pathetic quality. Because I most of the stuff I recorded years and years ago, but some of it was recorded at 128 kilobit uh, MP3 and I never got around to redoing some of it because the, my music collection I've got all came off either CDs or vinyl. But in the early days, because I digitized my stuff going way, way, way back, back to the days when MP3 first uh, was first introduced and we had very limited uh, uh, memory size. So I did most of the stuff at 128 kilobits and it sounds like crap, but here's some half decent sounding. Obviously, I can't let that play for too long, or George Benson will want his his uh, his take. But uh, let me assure you, the sound quality off this is unbelievable. Yep. So there it is, streaming through my home network. This is not on my phone. This track, and I can just play anything that's on my home network. I can advance to the next track here. Where are we here? I have everything. You name it, I have it. About uh, 
I think there's probably 50,000 tracks on my PC. I've got everything on here. Like, old and new. Anyway, that's a look at this little board by Arlick. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. We're going to review this one next. We'll do this one next. Thanks for watching.